What is up, my degenerates? Welcome back to my crypto journey. Of course, my name is Rodney, and Terra Luna Classic is starting to pull back another 16% today. Had a huge run the other day, and it's going back to the what low eights and high sevens um, like it was the other day. Now, I said that if it did get back into this range, I would consider uh, buying or adding more to my bag. Now, I haven't touched this thing because, guys, this is a huge gamble, right? This is a day trader, swing trader's dream right now. This thing is not running on any fundamentals except for the fact that it may be a community token. So remember that if you're going to ape into Terra Classic at all, remember it's a spec, even Terra 2.0, it's all speculative. No one knows what's going to happen. And a lot of the bigger cryptocurrency, uh, you know, faces out there, talking heads, say the same thing. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but that's the truth about Terra Classic is that right now it's a community token. That's that's what we have to treat it as. It's not a blue chip anymore. Um you know, you know, Do Kwan's making a, you know, another stable coin for Terra 2.0, but that's Terra 2.0. Like that's where the future is when it comes to uh, Terra as a project. Right now, Terra Classic is, is strictly a community token. And yes, the community is strong um, and the community can push something to the moon. But the thing, my issue is, is that the market cap is already pretty high. I mean, you know, it's almost half a billion dollar market cap. Uh, the volume's insane, right? You know, more than a quarter million dollars in volume. It's insane, right? But you have to understand that it's hard to X something like 10X, 100X something, or 1,000X something when the market cap is already so high. That's my only issue. And it's already in every, uh, it's already on uh, most exchanges already. So, my thing is, if we're looking for some sort of pump or any positive price action from Terra Classic, there has to be some big news, some big momentum to push this uh, token into the stratosphere, in, in my opinion. Now, obviously, it's not a token. It's, it's not a coin. It's a coin, excuse me, but it's bridged everywhere else as a token, right? It's on the uh, Ethereum blockchain. And a lot of people have, you know, uh, Rap and Luna on the Ethereum blockchain. So it is a token there. Um, but you know, supply is super high, so it can't be a dollar anytime soon or even one cent. Um, burns do matter, guys, but like even like Shiba Inus had like a ton of burns last month and still they're not pumping because you still need volume coming into the project. So just remember, guys, this is a this is a gamble. I don't hate to like shoot down your hopes and give you a realistic point of view, but I have to, you know, I have to. Like things are possible in the cryptocurrency space, but this is still a huge gamble. And if anything, if you have a bag in it, it's one of those things where if you're down a lot, you know, do what you want with your own money. Uh, but in my case, I don't have that much money in there. I'm just going to leave it. It's a moon bag. I may consider buying the dip down the road or maybe in a couple of days if it stays at this level just because I know it could pump and I can make a quick profit. But that's probably the only reason why. It's just a quick gamble. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. How do you feel about this project? Super volatile right, volatile right now. Do not get wrecked. Hey, when you're up sometimes, it's always good to take profits because at the end of the day, it's as long as the outcome is income, you can never lose. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.